Hi, I'm Ray Spencer, Executive Director of the Customs House, and this is Takeover Week 2018. Takeover 2018! Takeover 2018! Takeover 2018! Takeover 2018! Takeover 2018! <laughs> Um, I think people should come and get involved because there's loads of different art forms and it's just so fun. All of the workshops we've got planned as well are really good. It's kind of something that everyone might be interested in, yeah. so it appeals to everyone. I think events like this in the North East are particularly important because there, there aren't a lot of arts opportunities out there. There's certainly not a lot of leadership opportunities that have um, the transparency that TakeOver does. So we've handed over everything from the budget to talking about travel costs, um, you know, sort of figuring out what a, a fair fee is for performers, um, promotion, marketing. I think it's really been every aspect. It's not just sort of um, tell us an idea and then we'll roll with it and make it happen. It's really been, um, th they've done everything for this, um, which has been incredible. I think especially in South Shields, um, you know, I think a, a lot of people think about the arts being focused in Newcastle and Gateshead and it's particularly important um, to put South Shields on the map where there are creative young people and it's worth celebrating that. I like art and I got involved in the judging because I think it's really interesting to see how other people work and I think I really like art because I think it's a really interesting way because you can see how people think through how they put the marks down, how, how they compose something, even just the colours that they use, like the different tones, is really, really interesting. So it's, you don't really get to see it as an artist or as a student of art, how other people do it because you're always concentrating on yourself. So it's really interesting to see how people like, express themselves in different ways. Everyone here at the Customs House particularly the learning and participation team. We always want to see more work by young people. We want to see more young people involved in the work that we do and in the arts in general. Um, and just even just using the gallery, taking over the gallery and having an exhibition of young people's work is um, a really rare and special thing. Drag is great for blurring certain lines anyway, and drag is travelling in different worlds now and always has travelled in different worlds, worlds of fashion, um, worlds of art, and I think that's one of the very, very lovely things it can do by almost not being recognised as real art. It can get away with being in places where it's probably not supposed to be. So I'm really interested in how those worlds connect together and how drag can be a real way that connects both people together, but also the different way we might think of things being separate, how it connects those different worlds together. Um, when I'm on stage, it's it's one of those things you can get lost in it all. It's not it's not something you don't feel judged anymore because you're doing your own thing and you 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 know that no matter what in this community, everyone's going to be happy and positive around what you're doing. Mm. You kind of feel like important because like you're the yeah. entertainment for that day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's just like a big space and it's where you get to like loose and just go out and do yeah, what you yeah. do. We do best. You do best, exactly, yeah. I would recommend that people uh, access sessions like this or graffiti workshops to express themselves in a safe environment around other creative people. We can all learn from each other and I think bouncing ideas around is a great thing. Um, so yeah, to just explore as much as possible and create and experiment, learn to express themselves freely and um, not be too nervous about it and just kind of build that confidence and, and keep going and just draw and paint as much as possible. Being part of the TakeOver team, it, it's um, probably gained skill, gained knowledge of, of actually planning events from scratch um, and kind of really getting into the nitty gritty of all the fine details that are going to make an event like this a success. Mr Kelly and myself are, are, are poets and, uh, and uh, we believe in poetry is a very useful thing for young folk to do and this competition um, has been very inspirational I think to young people in this area over the last three years 
in encouraging them to write poetry. What held us and made us feel they were stronger poems was something that came from that, that particular person, that particular poet, and it had a resonance. I definitely say like uh, being a, a rap artist and being like a sort of creative is like one of the most like rewarding things I've ever done. Like, but that's like my purpose. Like, I just love it. But um, if you're thinking about sort of doing it, my my definite advice would be like sort of get involved. You know what I mean? Like, this you don't just have to be like this rapper or be like you know like aggressive with it or anything like that. Like, you don't have to be anything. Like, there's especially now at the moment, rap is sort of like. It's diversifying as a genre, like you've got rappers in pop songs, you've got rappers on the radio now, like it's it's expanding. So you can you can bring any angle you want, like there's no there's no box to it, like you can do what you want. And if you are interested in it, I would definitely say get involved because there's there's no pressure, like there's no expectation, you can you can do what you want. And as I say, I've found it rewarding, I've found it like uh, sort of it's enriched my life. So I would definitely say get involved and it might do the same for you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I went from no knowledge of filmmaking to it knowing how to write scripts and starting to learn how to direct um, and all kinds of production skills but also uh, the social side obviously I made lo loads of new friends through that and you learn a lot about how to work with people and just how to get along with people generally. So from doing custom reels in the takeover, I've learned how to be better at working as part of a team and talking to other people and helping them out as well. Um, personally, I think I've learned confidence because I've never really had confidence in myself much. And I think having confidence is the most important thing because having like low self-esteem and then having self-esteem is the best thing in life because if you have self-esteem and have strength in yourself and confidence then it takes you far. So having confidence is the best thing that I've learned. I think a lot of people want to aspire to being involved in the arts and a lot of other people aren't sure whether the art is for them. So if you can have an event where people can sort of dip the toes into a whole sort of different mediums and a whole sort of uh, raft of ideas and uh, exhibitions and performances, then they've got a, a chance like a box of chocolates to choose their favourite flavour and perhaps develop their own taste as they move forward.